Congratulations tonight. That was uh, uh, an interesting formation, wasn't it? But we still got the result. Yeah, I basically put Wits in the heart, uh, in the city midfield role. Scans and um, Luke Allen pushing on to support Bluey. Um, we have to go with what we got at the minute. You know, Fippo's out for 10 days with a hamstring. Um, Park is still out for another 10 days, maybe. Bradley, possibly another week. Um, George Bevan got through 75, which is a massive bonus. Um, but yeah, you got you got to go with what you got, and you, what you got to do is just, like I said to him in there, sometimes you put um, square pegs in round holes, sort of thing. Um, and listen, it was about getting a result, Jim. You know, it wasn't pretty, and, and I won't admit to it being pretty. But we've won four-one. People say oh, it might not have been a four-one game. I don't care. We've won four-one. The club's got two. I'm not normally like this, but we've got 2,700 for the club, um, and we move on to Kingstonian in the league Saturday and in the trophy. So. The fans that travel today, that's brilliant, you know, and like I say, we're in the next round. I don't care how we do it, the club's earned some more money and uh, we look forward to the next round. But there were some great performances by some of our boys out there tonight, I thought. Yeah, it was some good performances, you know, I'm not taking nothing away. I thought Bluey absolutely was a man possessed tonight. Um, he done really well, Luke Allen done well. Scan's first half in, in a position that he's not used to, done well. You know, Wits, not used to that position, done well. The back four, I thought, first half, I thought the back four and Tony were, were really, really good. You know, um, Nick Wheeler's come off at half time, which causing them problems, come off with some tight calves. But like I say, it just they scored an early goal second half and uh, but we stuck with it, weathered the storm and, and pushed on. They had a strong sort of 15, 20 minutes and they for the start of the second half. Yes, they did, and they got got their goal, but they couldn't get another one, which meant that if they didn't get another one, we would have won two one if we hadn't scored again. So at the end of the day, uh, thoroughly deserved victory. People might disagree with me, but again, I'm not bothered about it, Jim. I'm happy tonight, um, we're through to the next round, tricky tie, um, and we go on to play, face Kingston in the next round. Cameron came on, I thought he looked very self-assured as well, didn't he? He really yes. sort of ha helped us shore things up a bit. Yeah, he came on, and, and that's what I just said to him now. I had three youngsters on the bench, including the goalkeeper, and if I have to use them, I'll use them. Um, are they my first choice at the moment? No, um, in terms of if I get everyone fit, but they know that they're not far away, and they know that I'd call upon them because I can trust them. Um, and like I say, it was pleasing for him to get on the pitch. I thought he'd done well, he used the ball well. Um, got caught once on it, which he just said to me in there, he knew what he should have done, but he didn't react quick enough. So someone telling me that, that's a good learning curve for him. And I, I was pleased for the boy. So we've got successive matches against your old friends at Kingstonian. Yeah, yeah, that'd be <laughs> interesting. We've got a home game, league game, which again, like I say, we're going to be down to bare bones again. Um, hopefully we can get, get people dusted down on Thursday and massage and stuff ready for Saturday um, and that's the first game we're looking for so we've got to try and get back on the, the winning trail of the league. Well done tonight, terrific performance by the boys, well done Steve. Hey! Down! Down! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah!